Good afternoon. It's Monday, December 12, 2016. For all Western New York news, I'm Scott Lepper. Partly sunny this afternoon with a high near 37. A slight chance of snow showers overnight with a low in the mid to upper 20s. More possible snow showers and a high near 34 on Tuesday. Let's start with police news. Arthur Hugh Stephen Knox, 58, of Canada, who was convicted of attempted unlawful re-entry into the United States, was sentenced today to time served, that's three months. Prosecutors say he attempted to enter the U.S. on September 11th, having previously been barred for 10 years in 2007. Seriously, is there a worse day to attempt to illegally enter the United States? Anyway, he's back in Canada now. 29-year-old Michael Wilson, formerly of Hamburg, was successfully extradited from Vietnam in a rain Friday afternoon before U.S. Magistrate Judge Jeremiah J. McCarthy. In December of 2010, the defendant was named in a 47-count indictment charging wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy. The maximum penalty for each fraud count is 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Each money laundering charge carries a penalty of up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Wilson, a dual citizen of Canada, traveled to the Toronto area after learning he was under investigation. After being arrested in Canada in 2013, he was released on conditions and challenged extradition to the United States in Canadian courts. Before his final appearance in Canadian court, though, in February of this year, he flew to Vietnam with his wife, mother, and three dogs. Wilson was arrested in Vietnam pursuant to a red notice. That's a notice from the American authorities to arrest the defendant on site. And then in June of 2016, he was detained in Vietnamese jail pending extradition to the United States. 42-year-old Joshua Butler of Buffalo was charged by criminal complaint with possession of child pornography subsequent to a prior conviction. The charge carries a minimum penalty of 10 years in prison and a maximum of 20 years and a $250,000 fine. Prosecutors say that in April, Butler was convicted in state court of one count of promoting a sexual performance by a child and subsequently sentenced to 10 years of probation. And then in July, an Erie County probation officer searched Butler's residence in accordance with the terms of his probation and found a cell phone with internet capabilities, which he was prohibited from having. A forensic examination of that cell phone found over 300 images of child pornography, some of which depicted children under the age of 12, as well as images of violence. The town of Hamburg Police Department is looking for the public's assistance in identifying individuals sought for questioning regarding an attempted theft of items from Best Buy. There's a video of them conveniently located at allwesternnewyorknews.com with more details. While you're there, check out the photos from the Lancaster Police Department of a male they say is wanted for questioning related to money stolen from a purse at a local grocery store. Sports. Will he stay or will he go? The Buffalo sports community is speculating on the tenure of Buffalo Bills coach Rex Ryan following a 27-20 loss by the Bills on Sunday to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Rumors on Sunday were that he'd be gone by morning, but as of this recording, he's still the coach. There's so much to do in only one you. Our Lady of Fatima Shrine will host a free concert at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, featuring the Buffalo Niagara Concert Band. The Aquarium of Niagara is planning a series of breakfasts with Santa Claus at 9 and 10.30 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. See how the animals are prepping for Santa's arrival while enjoying a breakfast provided by the Hard Rock Cafe, Niagara Falls, USA. Get into the holiday spirit with a sing-along with Old St. Nick and a special Christmas sea lion show. Visit AquariumOfNiagara.org for more details. Greg Burt's weekly column this morning, heard in Western New York, features Saturday's The Big Bang at Evening Star Concert Hall as its must-go-to of the week. There's nine other promising shows, too. Check them all out at AllWesternNewYorkRadio.com. For All West New York Radio and All West New York News, I'm Scott Leffler. Have a great day. Be in the audience Friday, December 16th at Niagara Falls Rapids Theater to smile and wave at the Hexa. The Canadian rockers will make their way south of the border and play what is sure to be a packed crowd at one of the best places to experience a concert in Western New York. Tickets are just $27.50, available online at rapidstheater.com and at the Rapids Theater box office. That's the Headstones, Friday, December 16th at Niagara Falls Rapids Theater.